When you really understand the deepest desires and motivations of your ideal client, it's so much easier to talk about what you do and to bring people to buy from you your products and services. Hi, I'm James Roche and that's the topic of today's video. I love metaphors because I think it's one of the best ways to take difficult concepts and make them very concrete and relatable in our own life and in our business. And one of the most difficult concepts I see people struggling with the most is really understanding what is it that their market, their ideal client desires and really wants. It's so easy to get into your head and to think about this stuff conceptually. It's a whole different experience when you can talk to people heart to heart, gut to gut, you know, like you really get to the heart of the matter of what really motivates those people into taking action and to, to moving forward. So I'm going to share with you this metaphor that is an exact replication of what's happening in your business right now. And I'm going to tell this to you in the form of a story. And then afterward, I'm going to ask you three key questions. Now these questions will put this metaphor into context of your own business. And I think once you go through this exercise, you're going to start to see the light bulb will go off in a whole new way that you can be talking about your business and compelling people to ultimately buy from you. Okay, so here's the story. I want you to imagine for a moment that there's a woman driving home very late at night. Normally not a problem, right? Anybody can drive home at night. However, on this particular night, it's pouring down rain. I mean, we're talking buckets of rain coming down, the kind of rain that you know, the windshields are whipping across the, the, the wipers are whipping across the windshields and you can still barely see in front of you. Now, she's driving very carefully home, trying to get home at night. Her knuckles are white, driving forward. And all of a sudden, boom, she gets a flat tire. Ugh. So carefully, she pulls over and yes, she gets over to the side safely and opens the door to see what happened and all of a sudden she's just drenched in water. I mean, this is that rain that comes at an angle and stings you on your cheek. Well, it's the back right tire that went out. So she's able to, yes, there is a spare tire. She's able to pull it out and, and trying to say, oh, let me call somebody, grabs her cell phone. There's no reception. This is in a country lane. So there's not a lot of people around. Well, there she is sitting literally in a puddle of water flat tire on the car, spare tire to her side, holding this piece of metal in the shape of an L, not knowing exactly or anything how to use it or how to change a flat tire. She's in a dire situation. Well, it's at this exact moment that you happen to pull up and you see this poor woman struggling over there and you immediately pull over. Then you have one of those big umbrellas and you rush out and you cover her from the rain. You say, oh my gosh, what, what happened? And she's like, oh, you know, all I wanna do is get home but I got this flat tire and, and I can't get home. But at home, I have this amazing husband. I have my two kids, they're asleep and I just want to get home and kiss them on the forehead and make a nice hot cup of tea and curl up with my husband. And, but right now I'm, I'm, I'm covered in water and drenched and I don't know how to change a flat tire. Now at this moment, you, you smile and you say, ah, oh, you know what? You're in luck. I know exactly how to change a flat tire. In fact, I've changed so many flat tires in my day. In fact, and you reach into your pocket and you pull out this piece of paper. You say, you know what? I have here instructions that show you exactly step-by-step step how to change a flat tire. Here, let me show you how and we'll do it together. Now, at that moment, you are that woman's guardian angel and she is so grateful that you came along at that very moment. So this is our metaphor that we're working with. Okay, so now let's Let's look at this as a metaphor for your business. So I'm going to ask you three questions. And the first one is, what does home represent to your ideal client? So in other words, remember in our story, this woman had a very, very clear understanding of what she wanted, what the outcome was that she wanted. And that is a picture she had in her mind's eye, the, the husband, the kids, a nice hot cup of tea, curling up, you know, comforter, just, the warmth, the security, the love that is home. That's the outcome that she wanted. Well, your audience has a very specific picture and emotional connection to the outcome that they want. So just think about it for a moment. What is home for your audience? What is it that they really want and what's the outcome that they're 
yearning for and what's the emotions that are tied to that outcome. Once you understand that, that's your, your button that you're going to push over and over again when you talk to people. You're going to talk about the outcome, what is home for them. And in that conversation, you elicit from them the emotions, the pictures, the sensations, the deep desire they have to get home. If you can do that, <laughs> you're golden. <laughs> They're going to be listening to everything you say from that point forward because you understand exactly what they really, really want. So that's the first question. What does home represent to your ideal client? The second question, remember, is she's sitting in a pile of water and there's, there's a flat tire. Well, that's actually a metaphor for the problem that is there that your audience also has. Now they, what is, so the question is, <laughs> What does the flat tire represent to your ideal client? Remember, in other words, what is the barrier or what is the problem that prevents your ideal client from getting what they want? What's the barrier to home for them? There's going to be something, there's a big thing that's blocking them from getting what they want. What is that problem? Make that precise. Identify what that is exactly in your business. Now here's an interesting thing about that. 10 minutes before the flat tire, a minute before the flat tire for the woman driving, she didn't care about flat tires. It wasn't an issue in her life. But the minute she had a flat tire, then it became everything. It was the barrier that blocked her from getting what she wanted. She was highly motivated to fix the flat tire. Now there is a segment of your audience out there who is also highly motivated because they have a flat tire in their life. Whatever that is, they have something that's preventing them from getting what they really want and it's urgent for them right now. Those are your hottest potential clients because they're the ones who are the hungriest to find a solution and get home. Okay, the third question. Remember, you pulled out that piece of paper that was a basically an, a step-by-step -step guide how to change a flat tire and you also helped her change the flat tire in this metaphor that we used. What does that piece of paper represent in your business? In other words, what is it you offer as a solution to help that ideal client solve their problem and get what they want? What is it you offer as a solution to help the person clear the barrier and get the outcome, get home to what they really, really want? Now your offer could be a personal service, a product, a course, a program, you know, whatever, a live event, whatever it is. What is the optimal thing, the thing that you know how to solve, it's easy for you to solve, and, and it's the best, the most efficient way to solve the problem that is preventing your ideal client from getting what they want. That's your offer, right? So by knowing these three key concepts, home, flat tire, piece of paper, in other words, outcome, problem, solution, if you can get clear about these things, the doors open up for you in your ability to communicate exactly what it is that your audience wants, what their problem is that prevents them from getting there and how you can help them, right? Interesting, right? Very powerful information here. So I really want you to, to sit with this, absorb this and answer these three key questions and it'll open up the doors in all of your communication, your marketing and just how you can heart to heart relate to the people that you're talking to. Because at the end of the day, marketing isn't about fancy language or, or tricks or slick, cool things. I mean, that's really not what it's about. It's really about having a heart-to-heart -heart connection and really being able to help that person get out of a dire situation and achieve what they actually want. You're, you're dream makers, essentially. You're, you're home builders. You're, you're, you're the ones who help people get this beautiful outcome that they're desiring. And that's the beauty of doing your service. The purpose of the marketing and the sales is simply to be able to have a dialogue with people to understand who they are and what they want and be able to bridge the gap between the, the, the stuck problem that they're in and help them achieve the outcome that you know how to help them get to. That's the beauty of business. That's where it really becomes something more than just marketing and sales, but it's actually good old human contact with people. So thank you so much. And I invite you to, to write your comments below. What, is a, what did you identify as the three key answers to these questions? And what insights and ahas did you get while listening to this really elegant, nice metaphor?